grays, blue or brown can remember Lord, I try my spot since the third of December Ice cream or gray can remember But I bet you know the color of heather is getting cold But I have my own sweater Fuck your polyester Cause cotton's way better you were Hello you guys, welcome back to a tutorial on how to add um, different fonts into Pixlr E. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up a new tab. So Google, Microsoft Edge, or Explorer. Also, this um, doesn't work on mobile because Pixlr doesn't work on mobile. So Pixlr E, which is the one that we're going to be using today. But you can also add the fonts into Fonto, which is a mobile app. But I also have a tutorial on my channel that you can also use to see how I do that. So first you want to go ahead and open up a new tab and you're going to search the font com which is where I like to get all of my fonts and then just find a font that you want and if you want some font recommendations you are free to go ahead and check out my um, 35 different aesthetic fonts video which I will leave the link in the description so I'm just gonna use jungle and then I'm gonna download it you can search around and if you found one that you liked from my video or from somebody else's video just go up here to the search bar and then search and it, will, it should pop up. Okay, so I'm gonna use Jungle. I'm gonna download it right there. It downloads as a zip file. Next, you wanna go ahead and open Files, your PC. And you wanna go ahead and open Downloads. Next, you're gonna click on New Folder. And you're gonna rename that folder Fonts. Since I already have two font folders, I'm gonna name it Fonts 3. Then you want to go ahead and drag that folder over to quick access and it should put it here as you can see it's right here next you can go ahead and close that um, file page and just click on the jungle file right down here click on the arrow and then show in folder also if you don't use google and you use microsoft edge the downloads will be up here instead of here because of the new update and stuff but yeah if you're using Google like me, then it should be down here. Okay, so here is the font that I downloaded. So now I'm going to double click and then here it is. It should be as a true type or an open type, I think, file. So yeah, just find the name of the font that you chose. And some fonts also have like italic and bold and all that other stuff. But I recommend just choosing the normal one. So yeah. I'm just gonna drag that one, the name of the font that you chose, over to my fonts folder. And just like that, I have it in my fonts folder. So, so now I'm just gonna close up that file um, page. Now I'm gonna open a new tab in Google. And I'm gonna search up Pixlr. And then it should be the first link that pops up. Make sure that it's that link. And you can click on it and then you're gonna click on Pixlr E advanced photo editor you can either create new or you can open up an image from your PC but for this tutorial I'm gonna create new I'm gonna choose the full HD but you can choose whatever size you want and then click create and okay and just like that we have it next you want to go ahead and click on the T which stands for text and you're just gonna click anywhere on the screen and add a new text layer just like that so then you're gonna write whatever you want to want right and then we're gonna go ahead and click up here where it says fonts click on the drop down menu and then go all the way to where it says add local font next you're gonna go ahead and open up your fonts folder which is open and then you're gonna click on the font that you chose which is this one and then just open and there it is as you can see there you have your font so you can do this for mo many other fonts and like I said before if you don't have a PC to do this with then I have a tutorial on my channel saying how you can also um, add fonts from that font on mobile into um, Fonto which is an alternate app to Pixlr but Fonto is only for text and stuff but you get the idea. 
but yeah if you need any more help comment in the comments down below and let me know some more tutorial ideas to do so yeah and i hope i helped you guys so i'll see you guys on the next one goodbye royals